Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadrat equation by factoring. And one more thing, I just want to remind you that this symbol over here is called, is called omega. And omega is the Greek alphabet letter. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. I have just put down this, uh, this quadratic equation right up here. And as we can see that this equation is across the board divisible by two. So I am going to divide it by two across the board. All right. Once we divide this one across the board, this two and two, they are gone, so we end up with omega square minus six divided by two is three omega minus 18 equal to zero. So now we can see that our leading coefficient is simply one. And now in our next step, I want you to just put down this negative 18, the constant part, on the top over here and at the same time we are going to write down this middle number negative 3 at the bottom over here in this x factor. Now let's go ahead and find the possible factors of negative 18 that could give us negative 3 if we add and subtract. So the possible factors of this is for 18 is going to be obviously 3 and 6. Now let's fix the sign. So the sign is going to be positive 6, positive 3 and negative 6. Now as you can see that if we add these number we're going to get this negative 3 and if we multiply we are going to get negative 18. In our next step we are just simply going ahead and write down these two parentheses equal to 0. Here I'm going to put down omega, here I'm going to put down omega and here are our two factors say first one is positive 3 I'm going to put down positive 3 in the first parentheses and negative 6 in the second all right so these are our factors in the next step we are going to split these one we're going to separate them I'm going to say double omega plus 3 equal to 0. By the way, this looks like a W, but this is we are going to call omega. And at the same time, on the other side, this is omega minus 6 equal to 0. And that is going to give us omega equal to negative 3 as one of our solutions. And on the other side, omega equal to positive 6 is another solution. So thus omega equal to negative 3 and omega equal to 6 are our two solutions and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye!